it's called success You always going out your way You always dropping off your flame Yo. I told her Colgate, baby, gotta keep your teeth straight. Yeah. Bay on flex, extensive. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just Brand new Rory, Smith and Wesson. You. Yeah. Maybe have a ball. I want my credit. Go. Hey, you guys, it's me, Rachel, and today I'm back with another hair review. This hair is from Gym Beauty Hair on AliExpress. And I just be telling you guys, how I got it to this hair review. I don't know what color you would call this. Tell me down below. But I'm gonna be telling you guys how I got it to this color and what I used, and basically just all the details on how I put the wig together. This is a 12 inch 360 frontal with 14, 16 Indian straight hair. I definitely feel like I'm getting better at making wigs. This one fit almost perfectly, it's just a little too big in the back, but um, I'd rather it be too big than too small. So yeah, this is how it turned out. I did cut the hair, and I only needed two bundles and one frontal, which is really, really good. So this is probably super cheap. I'm gonna look up prices for you guys and probably include like the total in the description. Um, I did read that they don't do like bundle deals anymore, so you can't get like a closure and bundles. I think it's something that AliExpress is doing now, because I saw that on someone else's video. My hair got here super fast. It's always DHL shipping, and it's always super fast. But that's for most AliExpress companies. Yeah, the hair felt good whenever I got it. Um, I did process it and stuff, of course, with the bleach. So I guess I'll get into that now. I just made this into a wig. I just put a dome cap on the stand, and I just sewed the wefts on. You do your frontal first, then the wefts. I did bleach the knots on this front out. I don't know if you guys can tell. I did get some of these baby hairs in it too, but I actually feel like it turned out better that way. I don't know why, but it just kind of lightened the baby hairs. So yeah, once I did that, of course I constructed my wig, and then I'll get into how I got the color. I used 30 Home Developer and the normal Clairol bleach, and I just put it all throughout the hair. And then um, I stopped like right about there at the top. And for my front, I made sure that I put a lot of bleach on just so that it would be a little bit lighter, framing the face. I just put it on there for, it was probably like 45 minutes. I'm sure the back got a little more processed in the front, honestly, but the front turned out lighter, which I'm not sure how that works. It might be because the frontal is a different kind of hair than the back. That's the only thing that I could possibly think of. I rinsed it out with neutralizing shampoo, and then I went in with a clear all dye, and I actually recorded that a little bit, so I'll show you guys what I used. After I rinsed out the bleach, I went in with that dye, and I colored the hair that color, just to kind of neutralize it a little bit more. The clear all dye was only like $2, so that's super good. And then this is what I got. I did straighten it, and the hair does feel like it still has like some type of product on it. It does have like a residue to it. What do you expect? I just bleached it like for a really long time, so I didn't expect it to feel like amazing. But once I curled it, for some reason it feels even better now. Maybe it's because um, I didn't really take my time straightening, and when you're curling, you have to put like direct heat on like every piece, so it kind of helped it out. I just curled it with my Remington wand, and then I brushed them out and sprayed a little bit of my Marula 5-in-1 volumizing spray. And that is how I got this look. I did use some Gatsby glue. I didn't blow dry it or anything. I just wanted to lay down for the video because I'm about to go switch to my short wig because it matches my outfit better. As far as the hair goes, there's no shedding, nothing like that yet. Um, I'll let you guys know if you want to update. I probably love this look even better on my like, really long hair. But yeah, this is about Mm, this is about my natural hair length, honestly. From what I remember, the frontal didn't need that much plucking. I definitely recommend plucking after you've bleached and after you've like gotten the lace wet because whenever I plucked it after that, the hair just came out in like chunks and it was really nice actually. Um, I don't like a thick frontal. That's not what you want. So, yeah, if this helps you guys know how I thinned it out, I didn't really take time on my like edges today because it doesn't need that much work. I'm loving it so far. I will let you guys know um, if anything changes, which I doubt it will. This is probably just how it is. This hair is super, 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 super thick. Um, when I straightened it, like I couldn't even deal because it was just so thick. So I just had to go ahead and curl it. So thank you so much, Jim Beauty. I really appreciate you guys. So if you guys are interested in this hair, I will leave all the links down below so you guys can go check it out for yourself as well as all of the coloring instructions and stuff, or just the products that I use. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Bye. I told her Colgate, baby, you gotta keep your teeth straight. Yeah. Bay on Flex, extensive. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just Brand new Rory, Smith & Wesson. Yeah. Yeah. Make myself a ball, I want my credit, go.